Hi, Brentek here, where tech is made simple. So Vivaldi version 7.7 .7 has just rolled out, which is now the latest stable release. And to check if you have the update on Windows, you hit your main menu, help, check for updates. And if we head into the about page, the first thing you'll notice is a new cleaner, visually redesigned about page, which I actually think has been a long time coming and is a nice move in the right direction because Vivaldi says that the new about page is cleaner and more informative, which I do agree. Finally, they have the proper Chromium version as well. That's been a bit of a peeve of mine. The complete Chromium version is now available. Now Vivaldi says it shows your current version. So the current version is 7.7.3851.48 and the latest Chromium version is 142.0.7444.167 and that will also include that Chromium platform, all the latest bug fixes and security fixes that have rolled out recently with version 142. Vivaldi says this page also lets you check for updates with better status messaging and provides quick access to information like your profile path. And Vivaldi says it's added convenient buttons to copy import details and open your profile folder directly. So there we go, open profile folder. So I think that's a nice move in the right direction. Now there's quite a lot going on with version 7.7. .7, so just to dive straight in. Now Vivaldi says, first of all, version 7.7 .7 makes accessing tabs from your other desktop devices a lot easier. So finding and opening a single tab from another desktop is now straightforward. So if we head to our windows and tabs, yeah, you'll see sync tabs and those are tabs that are open on my other device with the browser. So open the Windows panel, Vivaldi says, or click the tab button and you'll see exactly what's open on your other synced machines as demonstrated. And next up is Vivaldi says it's reimagined how you interact with your start page. So now if we head to our speed dial as an example and we right click, you can now add widgets. So I'm just going to choose weather, but you've got the whole a lot of widgets you can add. So widgets and speed dials now coexist in a unified start page. And according to Vivaldi, your favorite sites now sit alongside real-time information from widgets, creating a personal dashboard that's uniquely yours. So you can fiddle around and set this up to your own personal choice and preference. So you get the general idea. So I think that's a nice move in the right direction. And for the next one, I'm just going to use an image provided where Vivaldi says it's refreshed and updated the privacy dashboard with a new cleaner design that makes it easier to understand exactly what Vivaldi is doing to protect you. It's mentioned that the updated privacy dashboard gives you clear visibility into blocked trackers, ads, and the time you've saved by not loading intrusive content. This gives you, it's mentioned, a better understanding of the impact of browsing with protection enabled. So I think that's also a step in the right direction. And they've also added a new performance section to settings. So if we just head quickly into our settings, yeah, you'll see performance. And this obviously is an idea they've got from other Chromium based web browsers because both Chrome Edge, also Brave have a performance section in settings with an energy saver, a memory saver, and so on. So I think it was only a matter of time before the same happened with Vivaldi. And as we can see, energy saver, never save energy. You've got a couple of options. Turn on at 20% battery, turn on when running on battery, always save energy. And then you've got memory saver. And memory saver helps free up resources by putting inactive tabs into a lower power state. The tabs stay exactly where you left them, but they consume less memory until you need them again, according to the change log. And then you've got the settings applied to that. So nice to see a performance page in the settings now available with this latest release. And then if you are using the mail that's built into the browser, I don't, but if you are, 
The male panel apparently has also received some UR polish, where Vivaldi says it's made visual refinements to improve readability and usability, making it easier to work with your email directly in the browser. Small improvements that make daily use just a bit smoother, according to the change log. And then over and above that, guys, there's quite a big change log. Too much to get into in this video. I've just gone through the key highlights for the purpose of this video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.